Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about this Lear high top camper top. Now this is a good camper top. It's the high top, it's aerodynamic, and it's very functional. And we're gonna take a quick walk around and see how it works and some of the good features about it. So here's the uh, the left side of the, the camper top. Now you can see how it bows up. A lot of the other camper tops go straight back and there's other models and other brands in this line you can order these from a dealer without the windows which is a good idea i would order it without the side windows if possible because these windows are prone to break now i had to replace this window on the left side and it, the window is about 90 dollars or 137 dollars and the installation was $89. Now you gotta have, it's pretty hard to install this. It took them about 40 minutes to an hour to put it in. So the new windows come with this uh, little rubber inlay and this outside rubber gasket where this one has a rubber inlay because these windows open and they come with screens. But if we look on the other side, the older window, the original window that came with the camper top uh, simply had this one rubber gasket here and that held the glass now again you know if i was to buy this brand new from the factory i would not get the side windows you really don't need them the back window is huge uh, it has a brake light on top uh, i haven't connected the brake light you don't have to because you have uh, brake lights at the bottom and the window is pretty big and it comes with these locks here so you just simply you know easily put the key in and turn the key and these turn now if you do wind up losing the key you just take the number off of here and you go to like one of the dealers that deals with Lear and they will get they will probably have a key in stock for you uh, to lock and unlock these so you simply unlock it like that and you open it up and, you, and it comes with uh, hinges like this. And these hinges are the original hinges. So they, they lasted a pretty long time. Uh, this part here is the hinge where the hinge mounts. And this lasted a pretty long time. It's the original. I'm not sure how much it would be to replace this back window if it broke. So, you know, you be very careful with these back windows because they can break. Um, if you can get these without a back window, I would highly recommend it or put like a smaller window on the inside with a screen if possible because in my opinion i really don't want these big big glass windows like that and you really don't need it uh these windows like on me this one broke and it is shatterproof glass so it won't break in chunks it'll break in pieces uh this particular camper top came with with this type of uh it's just a screw mount and these are the brackets you get four brackets uh, one for each corner this particular model did come with a sliding did come with a sliding rear glass so if you have a sliding rear glass in the cab you can open both windows and circulate some air in here uh, just like that which is no problem this is a model 2003075 you know it is fiberglass and this fiberglass is pretty strong it held up a long time and the screens in the back uh, are pretty good now i wouldn't recommend you driving with the window open and the screens open because what will happen is the wind itself will break and rip the screens uh these screens are not designed to be driven left open while you drive because like they will break so and they're on both sides you do have a lot of room in here headroom you know just to get an idea you could see how much headroom i have you can camp in this you can sit up in this and, uh, and be very comfortable you know if you're camping and it's raining out and uh, you want to get out of the rain you could basically like you know sit in there you could make dinner eat cook do whatever you got to do and uh this is a great camping uh top because what i would do is if i was to go camping with this i haven't that was the reason why i got it to go camping i just never did i would have a tent and put all my stuff in the tent but then sleep in the in the back in case it rains you could just stay in there and and you're good you're not going to get wet you're not going to float away you won't get soaking wet you'll stay nice and dry in there and you'll be off the ground 
So you won't need to bring cots or anything. You can simply bring a, an inflatable a mattress that'll fit in there. And two people can fit in there perfectly. I mean, like, perfectly. The other thing is that, again, you know, you have a, a, a van having this top. So, like, when you put this top on your pickup bed, you basically have so much cargo room that it's not funny. You can load it up big time. I really wouldn't recommend driving around uh, with this because this is a little flimsy. You know what I mean? You don't want to drive around like that because, you know, you don't want to break that rear glass unless you want to just completely take it off. And uh, you can do that too. You know, you can simply, you know, take the back glass off and just leave the top on. But what I like about these tops is you can keep stuff in here. As you can see, I do. Um, keep some things in here and it's pretty secure you know like depending where you live no one's basically gonna break in to your uh, camper top and steal your stuff because it's not really valuable stuff that I have in there anyway taking a look at the fiberglass um, the fiberglass held up pretty good you know you got this Lear here you know it's got some chips in the gel coat because like this is gel coated on the outside and on the inside is this you know raw fiberglass you can uh, put carpeting on the inside. I've seen people do that. Or you could just simply paint it. Uh, they actually even sell something that comes over this part here. And you get a little more aerodynamic. In, in terms of aerodynamic, I haven't seen an increase or decrease in fuel economy having this on top. I mean, this truck, this is the Toyota Tacoma 4.0 TRD Sport 4x4. And uh, basically, I get the same fuel economy, 18, 19 miles per gallon. On a bad day, I'll see like 16. You know, for whatever reason, the truck is just using more fuel. You know, and these uh, back windows are lockable. They do lock. Again, like if you don't get these back side windows, you may be able to get little bigger windows and windows that flip up. Uh, which are better then you can get like some kind of customized uh, Screens or I think they even come with you can flip them up and slide them and have the screen And what that does is it lets you load from the side here So let's say for instance, you don't want to really jump inside the cab of, of the of the pickup You can simply open the side windows and and take stuff out and put stuff in and whatnot And I've had my fishing gear in here and I've had big poles, break them in half, and I just like put them in between here. I mean, you could do a lot with this. And here you can see like the raw fiberglass, which is really not that bad. It is painted. They did spray it with something. I mean, if you want, you could probably clean this and it'll look good. Or you could paint it again and it'll look nice. You know, a lot of guys, like I said, they put lights in here, LED lights. Uh, they put carpeting and they make it really nice. I mean, you can make these inside of these beds pretty pretty nice and you can go camping you know you can go like you know places where you where other trucks can't go and and it just makes it so much easier to camp because you can sleep inside and again like you know you have a tail hitch and you could put uh, a tail hitch on that and put all your gear on top of that and inside here and uh, having a, a cap like this is pretty good I mean this closes pretty easily you know, it's just a piece of glass. And one thing I got to tell you, this thing is waterproof 100%. When you buy these from the factory, they give you like a rubber or a foam gasket that goes on the bottom here. And you have this big lip. As you can see the way it comes over. So you're never going to get water in this. Never. You know, unless you're leaking from here. But this is the original rubber gasket. And uh, it's held up for years. I really don't know how old this is. Uh, this thing could be... Uh, 10, 15 years old, don't forget, they started making these trucks with the six foot bed in 2005. So, you know, this could be, you know, between uh, 10 and 15 years old or, or even less than that. You know, here's something hit this and the gel coat chipped off, but that's no big deal. Like you could just touch that up with touch up paint and you'll be okay. You know, you could wash this and it'll look nice. And this is my second one. I'm, I'm actually selling this. But uh, it's in good shape. I mean, uh, it's, it's a pretty decent top. You could even mount roof racks on the top. You know, so if you wanted to, you can put roof racks and put more stuff up there. 
you can have roof racks up on the top of the roof and you could load this truck up immensely i mean these tacomas can take a lot of weight uh that can probably hold 200 pounds uh if you brace it maybe on the bottom maybe more so if you put the roof racks and you put some legs here something like that to hold the rack up you could probably put a camper uh a, a camper up on top of that if you brace the inside then you'll have like an insane camping machine uh because you know with these four doors you have all that storage on the inside of there so you can just like go away for months uh if you really wanted to and take a lot of fuel you know because then you would be able to put the fuel inside put your uh your tent on the top or just simply you know camp on the on the ground you know like like most people do today so yeah this is the top that uh, looks pretty good i like it my bed is a little bent so you got to like push it in to to lock it so this is a little a little out of whack you know this is a 2008 so it's not a perfect truck but it runs okay it runs good i just put a new transmission in it and it looks pretty cool i mean it makes the truck look massive so the people who are buying the camper top are actually here they have a black truck <laughs> so they're probably going to go camping in it which is smart you know because you don't want the low ones because you can't sit up in them this you can sit up in it and have a good time uh so let's see if uh, if they're going to buy it or not and uh well thanks for watching the video i hope this video was helpful if you want one of these and you're going to order it, remember see if you can order it without these side windows because you really don't need them especially if you're going to put lights in there these these backside windows are good enough you don't want to break these because these break easily if you're driving down the road and a rock hits it the, the glass just shatters and you gotta have a giant hole i had it fixed i had it taped up completely but it just disintegrates because it's just little shards of glass so again, take care, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.